Welcome to 2R Entertainment YouTube channel. Today we will talk about the world's greatest creation, Aswan Dam. The Aswan Dam, located in southern Egypt on the Nile River, stands as one of the most significant feats of engineering in the 20th century. Often referred to in two parts, the Aswan High Dam and the earlier Aswan Low Dam, this monumental structure has played a crucial role in shaping modern Egypt. The dam's construction and the decisions surrounding it have had far-reaching impacts on the country's agriculture, economy, environment, and social structure. This article delves into the history, engineering, benefits, and controversies surrounding the Aswan Dam, exploring its multifaceted influence on Egypt and the wider region. The idea of controlling the Nile's flow dates back thousands of years, with ancient Egyptians building simple structures to manage the river's seasonal flooding. The Nile, with its annual inundations, was both a blessing and a curse. While it provided fertile soil for agriculture, the unpredictability of the floods often led to devastation. The concept of a dam to regulate the Nile's flow became a serious consideration in the late 19th century when the British, who controlled Egypt, sought to improve agricultural productivity and ensure a steady water supply. The first significant effort to harness the Nile was the construction of the Aswan Low Dam, completed in 1902 by the British. This dam, located just south of Aswan, was intended to store water for year-round irrigation. However, it soon became clear that the Low Dam was not sufficient to fully regulate the Nile's flow, especially as Egypt's population and agricultural demands grew. In the mid-20th century, the idea of a larger dam took shape. Under the leadership of Egyptian President Gamal Abdel Nasser, the Aswan High Dam project was conceived as a symbol of national pride and a tool for economic development. Construction of the High Dam began in 1960 and was completed in 1970, with assistance from the Soviet Union after funding from Western powers was withdrawn due to political tensions. The Aswan High Dam is a massive rock-fill dam, standing 111 meters high and stretching 3,830 meters across. It was constructed using more than 44 million cubic meters of materials, including earth, rock, and concrete. The dam creates a reservoir, known as Lake Nasser, which extends over 500 kilometers into Sudan and covers an area of about 5,250 square kilometers. One of the most critical components of the dam is its ability to control the flow of the Nile River. The dam has a series of spillways and sluices that regulate the river's discharge, ensuring that water is released at a consistent rate throughout the year. This control has allowed Egypt to manage its agricultural cycles more effectively, providing water during the dry season and preventing the destructive floods that once plagued the region. The dam also includes a hydroelectric power station with a capacity of 2.1 gigawatts, making it a significant source of electricity for Egypt. The power generated by the dam has been instrumental in supporting the country's industrialization and urbanization efforts. The Aswan High Dam has brought numerous benefits to Egypt, transforming the nation in several ways. First, irrigation and agriculture. The dam has allowed Egypt to greatly expand its irrigated land, turning previously barren desert areas into fertile farmland. The ability to regulate the Nile's flow has led to more predictable agricultural cycles, reducing the risk of crop failures due to droughts or floods. This has been crucial for a country heavily dependent on agriculture as a primary source of livelihood and food security. 2. Hydroelectric Power The hydroelectric power generated by the Aswan High Dam has provided Egypt with a reliable and renewable source of energy. This has been vital for powering homes, industries, and businesses, contributing to the country's economic development. The availability of cheap electricity has also helped reduce Egypt's reliance on fossil fuels, mitigating some of the environmental impacts associated with energy production. 3. Flood Control One of the primary motivations for building the Aswan High Dam was to control the Nile's annual floods. Before the dam's construction, the Nile's floodwaters could be unpredictable, 
sometimes leading to devastating floods that destroyed crops and infrastructure. The dam has successfully mitigated this risk, protecting millions of people and their livelihoods from the dangers of uncontrolled flooding. 4. Water Supply the Aswan High Dam has created a vast reservoir in Lake Nasser, which serves as a crucial water supply for Egypt and Sudan. The reservoir provides water for irrigation, drinking, and industrial uses, ensuring a stable supply even during times of drought. This has been especially important for Egypt, a country with limited freshwater resources. 5. Tourism and Fishery Lake Nasser has become a tourist attraction, with visitors coming to explore its vast waters and the surrounding landscapes. Additionally, the reservoir has supported the development of a fishing industry, providing livelihoods for local communities and contributing to Egypt's economy. While the Aswan High Dam has brought significant benefits, it has also had profound environmental and social impacts, some of which have sparked considerable debate. Displacement of Communities The creation of Lake Nasser led to the displacement of thousands of people, particularly the Nubian communities who had lived along the Nile for centuries. These communities were forced to relocate, losing their homes, ancestral lands, and cultural heritage. Although the Egyptian government provided compensation and resettlement programs, the displacement had lasting social and cultural consequences. Loss of Archaeological Sites the flooding of the area behind the dam submerged numerous archaeological sites, including ancient temples, tombs, and settlements. To save some of these treasures, an international effort led by UNESCO was launched to relocate several key monuments, including the famous Abu Simbel temples. However, many other sites were lost forever under the waters of Lake Nasser. Environmental Changes the construction of the Aswan High Dam has led to significant environmental changes along the Nile. One of the most notable impacts has been the reduction of sediment flow downstream. The Nile's annual floods used to deposit nutrient-rich silt on the river's floodplains, replenishing the soil and supporting agriculture. With the dam blocking this sediment, the fertility of the Nile Delta has declined, forcing farmers to rely more on chemical fertilizers, which can have harmful environmental effects. Impact on fisheries. The reduction in nutrient-rich silt reaching the Mediterranean Sea has also affected the region's fisheries. The decrease in silt has led to a decline in fish populations in the Nile Delta and the Mediterranean, impacting local fishing communities. Water evaporation. The large surface area of Lake Nasser leads to significant water evaporation, with some estimates suggesting that up to 10% of the Nile's annual flow is lost to evaporation. This has raised concerns about the long-term sustainability of the reservoir, especially in the context of increasing water scarcity in the region. Health Concerns The creation of a large, stagnant reservoir has also led to an increase in waterborne diseases, such as schistosomiasis, which thrives in the warm, still waters of Lake Nasser. This has posed public health challenges for the communities living around the reservoir, The Aswan High Dam is a testament to human ingenuity and the desire to harness nature for the benefit of society. It has played a critical role in Egypt's modernization, providing essential water, electricity, and flood control to a nation heavily reliant on the Nile. However, the dam's construction and operation have also brought significant environmental, social, and geopolitical challenges. As Egypt and its neighbors continue to navigate the complex issues surrounding the Nile River, the legacy of the Aswan High Dam serves as a reminder of the delicate balance between development and sustainability. The future of the Nile and the region's water resources will depend on cooperative and equitable management, ensuring that the benefits of this great river are shared by all who rely on its life-giving waters.